Welcome to Two Bloke Cider, a Harvest Host destination here in Seagrave, Ontario. We stayed at Two Bloke Cider as part of our Harvest Host membership for one night. In this video, I'm going to share all about our experience and show you a glimpse of what a Harvest Host stay is like. But before I jump in, let me tell you more about Harvest Host. This membership is for RVers who want a different camping experience. Your membership gives you access to over 4,000 hosts in Canada and the US, but as you can see on the map, there are many more options in the US. Locations include wineries, breweries, distilleries, farms, museums, attractions, and even golf courses. Only self-contained RVs can camp at these locations, and no pop-up trailers or tents are permitted. Now let's jump into our most recent Harvest Host experience. The drive didn't take us too long and we enjoyed the country views. When we arrived, there was actually a car blocking the driveway to the RV spot, but the staff member checking us in said if we could fit through the gap in the parking area, we were more than welcome to just drive around and pull through. And since our trailer is pretty tiny, that's exactly what we did. This spot was located right beside the cidery and was their deluxe spot with a deck and for a fee you could get water and electrical hookups. And if you're coming here with another RVer, you can both park in this area to stay together. The cidery and farm was very beautiful and it was a popular place with a steady stream of visitors all day long and it had great outdoor seating. They also had some indoor seating as well, if you preferred that. When staying at a Harvest Host destination, you must support your host with a suggested minimum $20 purchase or donation. This is their only compensation for having you camp at their property. It's usually pretty easy to do when there's delicious food and drinks on the menu, like this prosciutto panini and the chicken flatbread. So, we had dinner taken care of and didn't have to worry about cooking in the trailer. Then after all that food, we went for a walk to explore the farm and visit with the sheep. We came over to see the sheep here and some of them have the most funny baths. Like they're so deep. Like that one. <laughs> and they think they think we have food, but unfortunately we don't. Who's making the funny sound? And for the rest of the evening, we enjoyed the peacefulness of the farm before watching the amazing sunset from our private deck. We are just packing up and getting ready to go home and we were one of four total harvest hosts staying here so there were three other vans that were parked around the orchard and the property and it made it feel very private the way they had it all set up so we weren't all side by side or anything it was nice and spread out so I really like that about this harvest host. I also really like that they do offer electrical and water hookups for a fee 
if you want that while you're here. We did go for the electrical because we wanted to plug in. We were worried it was gonna be too hot and it actually worked out being very nice. So it had a nice breeze, which meant we could have the windows open and we heard all of the farm sounds, including the sheep that were just over by the barns. This location also has a premium site, which we were able to snag and it has a little deck and picnic table. Although the picnic table was a little wonky, we ended up setting up our chairs anyways because they were more comfortable to watch the beautiful sunset over the farmlands. We had a perfect view for that where our trailer was positioned and it was very level. We didn't even need to do anything to level our trailer. It's technically, we didn't even unhook because it was just perfect. So now we're ready to go even faster this morning, which is also great. This location also had food, so we didn't have to worry about bringing food with us. We were able to eat some delicious paninis and flatbread pizza, and I would highly recommend those if you do come here and they have them available. And let's not forget the cider, which is what this place is known for. We really enjoyed the cider and we had two different sampling flights so that we could try as much of it as possible. And it was all very delicious and ranged from dry to sweet. And a cool thing about this cidery is that they actually have an Airbnb type accommodation in the back and it's a tiny home. I can't go back and show you because there are people who are staying there, but last night they gave us a quick glimpse of what it's like and it is super cute. So I'll put the website here so that you can check it out. Another thing that we really liked about this place was that when they closed they left all of their patio lights on so that we could use the property and just enjoy the amenities here and we were able to meet some of the other Harvest Host guests who were staying here as well and that made it that much more of a memorable stay. And that's it, we're gonna head out now and be on our way. But if you're in the area I would definitely recommend coming to check out Two Bloke Cider or if you have the Harvest Host membership and are looking for somewhere to stay, I would definitely recommend this as a great place to park for the night. Well, I hope this video gave you a good sense of what you can expect at Two Blokes Cider here in Seagrave, Ontario. And as always, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more camping, Harvest Host, and travel videos coming soon. If you're interested in camping or want to explore some great Ontario cities and attractions, don't forget to check out my other camping and Ontario videos linked in the description below.